Okay, here we have Brother Langley, um, official supporter, official and campaign holder, official campaign holder, official mm. Mm. official oh. helper, <laughs> official pianoist. A oh, yeah. A minor, B flat. A minor, B flat. <laughs> what, you, what, what words do you have to say, Mr. Langley? Why do you grits? It won't be my grits. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like, I support Team Change because that's exactly what these students are striving for is change. See, like, okay, like, Chad asked, uh, most of the students in here didn't know what student org did. Like, People gotta understand that's kind of important because, all right, it's different from high school. Like in high school, when you have the student, when you have the student government, it's like you're not really doing anything. You're, you're like making decisions as students, but you're not really withholding anything. Whereas in college now, like to be in the student government, you're actually handling things. Like, like students are in charge of money. Students are in charge of major decisions. And I think it's important. It's important as college students that you must know where your money's going. People, students complain about tuition, they complain about all type of fees, like where's all this money going to, but yet they can't even take the time to know what student organization is. And that's, and those are the people using your money. <laughs> so, Team Change, really honestly, Team Change is gonna get that message out there. Exactly what's going on with your money and exactly what is gonna happen during your college experience. <laughs> yeah, so all you gotta do is to find out all the little goodies and fun facts and secrets and the history of campaigning, all that good stuff. If you go to the blog website, you have to go to the blog. Please educate yourself. I'm really saying, please educate yourself about this. Even if you're from another campus, another school, go on the blog site. Actually, if you, and you this is on, it's on, it's gonna be on YouTube, so. No. Go on the block side. You'll find about even you learn about your student or learn how to get into positions and stuff like that. Anybody can run a position, basically. You just gotta have experience and you gotta have the will. Student student organizations annual fund is over one million dollars. Over one million dollars of your money. Of your money. I bet half of the people who's looking at this video didn't even know that. So basically, it's, it's just saying that. It just a, a comparison. A good comparison is, is your mom, your parents, or your guardian um, paying ta paying taxes. If you want to go, if you want to be technical, the next time you get a bill in the mail, there's university fees, there's gym fees, there's activity fees, Library. all those little fees. It's like dollars and like sixty cents. The rec like, the recreation the recreation fee the fees. The fees for the Hallwood Arena is like $136 a semester. Real, and, and it's, the, the fees are really, really small. But as many students add up to this university, those tiny fees make up over $1 million. It's 15,000 students that goes to school a year. 2,000 stay on campus and, and it grows every year. A so. couple a couple years back, this is like statistic wise, a couple years back, Keem was uh, thir what would you say? It's fifteen thousand now. It was, it was thirteen. It was thirteen, and the budget was one million dollars. So if it's fifteen, it's way over one million dollars. They're not gonna give you an exact number because that's, Student Oil became a department. So you're not gonna get an exact number. That's nice. But. Know, the blog where, know what's going on with your money. You can actually go online, www.king.edu, and click course bulletin, and type and click in the spring semester, and if you scroll down, probably on like the sixth page, it'll tell you the fee, because that's what I just did. So, you can do that. You can change, huh? And we're out. <laughs>